sunny day. I think I'm gonna be on. And we have Stephen in their front that is hearing impaired, and Carnival has provided her service throughout all of our courses to make sure. Yeah. Yeah. Now before this class started, um, just a little bit ago, there was somebody who asked me, what this is the sign for knit, knit, K-N-I-T, knit, K-N-I-T. Now understand that there are two needles for knitting, so that it's like this, two needles together, you kind of are touching them and moving them back and forth. Now, now crochet of course only has one needle, there's one hook, one hook. So that way one of them is moving and the other one's a little bit more stationary, you understand one? So, what would you like me to teach them now? Something that we could use here on the ship. What are our drinks? You guys want to drink? Drink! 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 Alcohol. Oh, okay, this is beer. B. It's a B hand. You can remember it by right here, B. Looks like four fingers. And you put it right here by your cheek. Now, the W, that's a W. We can make it in small circles and we make wine. Beer and wine. Now this is water, for those of you. Water, it's a W down here by your chin. And this is Coke. Now, <laughs> very, very old sign, but um, many, many people still use that for Coke. Coke. <laughs> so, <laughs> So we um, join the group of two crochet. And Stephen, oh my god, it gives me chills just to think of that because it's more than just about crochet, it really is about community. Yeah. I think I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be okay. I, said, I knew Stephen was coming on board and I was worried. And um, I was worried that we were not gonna be able to communicate with him. And I know that he's emailed me several times to tell me to put the damn videos so that it has words at the bottom. <laughs> but I've never known anybody to be deaf before. And he's changed my opinion. Yeah. Um, he's changed me this week. And I want to personally thank him for opening my eyes to realize that a disability is not a bad thing. He's taken me to a different level to understand what hearing impaired means and the effort that he has made to communicate with us around the table. How come he's the funniest table at the... So, this week has been changing for me. The Crochet Cruiser is always something here to take lessons from. It's from the people that surround you. You know, and that's why you know, as much as the crochet cruise is, is here for you, it's actually here for me as well. Uh, thank you, Mikey. You know what, I wanted to start just a little bit and give you a little bit of my own background. In, in cruise terminology, uh, what Michael was just describing, um, he, he didn't talk about the judgment that comes on deaf people. <laughs> what do you do with a deaf person? What are your expectations from a deaf person? And often we're pushed aside. Uh, we don't know what to do with you, so we're just going to put you aside for a little bit. But this week, let me tell you, every single one of you, and I mean it, every single one of you, including Michael, including Daniel, all of you guys have welcomed me, and I have felt so connected, so happy, so thrilled to be here. And I want to thank every single one of you for making me feel included and, and happy to be with you guys and share the jokes and the picking and what <laughs> um, Again, though, I, I want to say thank you so much for letting me be a part of you this week.
I have so enjoyed this. I've had such a wonderful week with every one of you. We've learned and we've sewed and, and everything that we've done. I, I would love to do it all over again. I love you all. Thank you.